What is up guys? Today I'm here with a new product release from the Z Garage and it is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time to really help modernize um, and improve the engine bay. Um, so if you guys don't know, back over here in the corner is where your battery sits and uh, right next to it here, I have it apart of course, uh, but this is our fusible links box. So what the fusible links are is they're very similar to regular fuses, but they can actually handle slight amounts of overcurrent. Um, and then when they do go ahead and uh, burst, they don't light on fire, um, just like regular wire. You can see them right here. Um, so these actually kind of are very hard to replace. Um, so these three right here, you can't actually buy anymore. Um, and then this one on the end is about $20 from Nissan. You can still find it online. Um, but they're kind of difficult to replace and in a pinch you just don't can't go to a store and get them You have to order them so you can see this yellow wire right here It's actually supposed to be black and that's because I did go ahead and blow that fuse when I was in replacing my alternator um, This is the alternator fuse and I grounded out a wire and I blew that fuse So not a great time for me and you can see I've just replaced it with this which is not the correct gauge Not the correct fuse size um, and it is not the correct type of wire so it is just not a good thing all around um, but again, you just can't replace them very easily. So what I've gone ahead and did is made a whole new fusible links box and that's this bad boy right here. So you can see it comes with a cover. Maybe you can see it says the Z Garage. It's got a nice cover on it and it's angled to help shield water off of it. We'll go ahead and slip the cover up off of it. And you can see the inside is also angled um, so that the water will not go in at all. It is extremely weather resistant. And right here we just have regular fuses. And I say regular in the term that these are easily gettable. Um, they're called MIDI fuses, M-I-D-I. Um, and you can get these at any auto parts store for like a dollar, dollar fifty. So not really too bad. Um, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is be replacing this entire fusible links box with this brand new Z Garage fuse box. So it's gonna be super nice. These are really replaceable and it's gonna be a great upgrade. You can see all of these are nice weather sealed kind of connections. Um, and you don't need to worry about water too much because the original box, again, wasn't weather tight. Um, it was pretty much the exact same setup. So let's go ahead and jump into how to install this. So you can see I've kind of got mine pulled apart and that was just because I was trying to figure out how everything works. I wanted to make sure that um, I was getting all of the wires in the correct spots and everything. So that is why it's pulled apart, but you really don't need to do that. Um, we're pretty much just gonna be snipping these wires off the bottom. And the reason for that is, is because even if you take this apart, you know, if you pull out this whole thing, um, there's nothing we can really use here. We're not gonna use the connectors. We're not gonna use the plastic. Um, so we're just gonna be snipping the wires off the bottom. If you want to pull it apart to get as much wire length as you can, that is possible, um, but you don't need it. And also note that this guy is supposed to go up in there. I'm no longer using this guy because this is the uh, fuel injector harness uh, continuity. And uh, I am running coil-on plugs in a full mega squirt system, so I don't even need that anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just in the purpose of this video um, how to do all of this. So there are three big white wires that go into the bottom of this box. You can see I've cut one already. What you're going to need is a multimeter for this installation and be, the only thing you're doing is you're going to be checking continuity between your uh, positive cable right here. So this white wire is what's coming around and then you're going to be figuring out which one of these two going to this battery fuse, um, which one of those two have continuity to the main positive. The reason for that is because this positive comes into here, it splits into two positive and then uh, another positive, <laughs> and then it goes uh, up into here. So one of them is this one back here, it feeds this big blade, it's where all these get their power from. Let's use that extra wire that I have hanging out over here. Um, and then the other one, this other, this guy's annoying. This other white wire here actually goes to the positive on the alternator. So it's going to give us power from the alternator and charge up our battery. So the reason that's fused is because if you accidentally ground the alternator um, or anything like that. So this is typically an 80 amp fuse. If you do run a bigger alternator, you may want to consider getting a bigger fuse, um, which actually this kit will allow you to do because they are modern fuses and you don't have to use fusible links. Um, but regardless, we're actually going to be using one positive cable and then the alternator cable and we don't need this other one uh, because we're going to be putting it on the same thing as this one. So what we're going to go ahead and do is when we're done here, we're going to clip this, fold it over and wrap it in some heat shrink and electrical tape um, just to make sure that it doesn't ground out or anything. If you really wanted, you could go through this harness and try to 
find where this one wire splits into two and then take it off there so that is you know not even a possibility of dangling around and hitting anything but i don't want to have to take apart my entire main engine harness it goes down into there and i just it's not an easy solution to figure out where it's coming from so regardless i'm going to go ahead and we're going to this one is my positive i've already ohmed it out with a multimeter and then this one is going to be the alternator so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come over here and i do want to note um, these two are going to change color in the final version. Um, these are 12 to 10 gauge uh, wire leads and they need to be 8 gauge so that's going to change. Um, but anyways all the rest of these are the correct gauge they will stay the same. Um, so what we're going to do is put the battery positive to this one here so it is going to feed this entire rail you can see we might be able to see there's a metal bar that runs across the entire thing and that is going to give us battery positive to all of these circuits just like the big blade did on the original fuse and then down here is going to be where the alternator comes in and that is a fused 80 amp and then the rest of these just go out to the regular circuits just as normal um, so if you have any issues it's going to blow these fuses here this is just a simple eight millimeter these are serrated nuts so they should not vibrate loose at all um, they will hold down really well and uh, everything should be a hundred percent fine now if you remember the original top had a thing kind of like this um, with the different circuits and their colors um, well i went ahead and replaced that on this guy Let's see if you guys can get a view of it i don't know how well that's coming through on camera maybe like that you guys can see, you guys can read this, it'll tell you the circuit and the amperage if you're going to the front like this. So if you're holding it like this and the fuse block is down there, you'll be able to tell it's going to look like that up on the wall. You're like, oh, this very bottom one is the alternator 80 amp fuse. So it's going to be that guy right there. And these fuses also say on them what their amperage is um, underneath the nuts here. So that's not too big of an issue. If you ever need to replace them, you should just be able to go down to your local hardware store and grab them. So we're going to go ahead and install this now. I've cut this one. I'm going to go ahead and weather seal it and crimp it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So if you look at these, um, both of these have the same color wire, which means they're the same fuse. This one has one color wire, and then both these have the same color wire. So as long as you take this, for example, um, it doesn't matter which order this red and this white go in. They can be switched around um, as long as they have the same fuse. And you can see they're a thicker wire than this one as well. These are supposed to be a 50 amp fuse. That's a 40 amp fuse. Um, so put these two on this 50 and this 50. And then we're going to put this one right here. This blue is going to be the green. It's going to be that guy. And we're going to put that right here on this one. And then if you had the other harness for the fuel injector, is this guy right here. Um, you, again, this doesn't matter, the orientation. Um, those are going to be the last two right here. So I'm going to go ahead, cut all these wires to length. I'm not going to do these ones because I don't need them. I'm just going to leave those off. Um, but just imagine if you did that, it would be the same thing. I'm going to cut them. I'm going to go ahead and put these eyelets on and heat shrink them down so that they're nice and weather sealed. And then we can go ahead and tighten this up. So let's go ahead and get to it, guys. All right, guys. As you can see, I went ahead and got this all installed. Um, so I went ahead and heat shrinked and crimped these guys. They don't need to be torqued down too much because these are serrated, remember that. So just kind of get them snug um, and they won't come loose on you. They're all good to go. And then uh, you can see I have right here my alternator and my positive. These are just for representation. Again, I'm going to be including the uh, heat shrink weatherproof ones in the kit. I just don't have them yet. Um, so when you order, you will get the ones. And then the alternator goes right down here on the bottom. And this positive goes on top of this one here. So there's a secondary nut that comes off there. This goes on top of that. And then this goes ahead and crimps it down like that. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, you may notice, if I can show you guys right here, it is a little close right here in this corner. But the cap does still fit. Let me show you guys this guy right here. It just kind of slides over and get it lined up on both sides and then boom just like that Oop, hopefully you guys can see it is nice and enclosed now imagine those guys were underneath and boom it is a beautiful simple elegant fuse box um, and also that extra power I just heat shrunk right here I did need to pull back the harness just a little bit to get a little bit of extra length on these uh, but it's not too bad. It's kind of just looped underneath and you just need to kind of cut it so you can loop it back around this side. Not too big of an issue. 
Um, so there you go, guys. You can get these on the ZGarage.net right now. Um, definitely take a look at them. They are really, really nice, and I am super happy with how they came out. So as always, guys, if you have any questions about this, drop a comment down below or send me a contact form on my website. Um, and as well, if you have any questions or uh, comments about what I should make next, definitely also do that, and I will respond to you. Um, I know, I believe his name's Will. He's waiting for these mirror block-off plates. They're almost done. Uh, I just need to do a little bit more. Um, so hold out for a little bit longer, Will, and you will be good. Um, so there you go, guys. Definitely let me know what you think, and I will see you guys later.